It's the ultimate pool Champions League. And if our last match was important, as it eliminates a player, this one even more so. Sean Story and Carl Morris wrestling to take control of this final group of the tournament. The winner of this one is just a draw away from the semi-final. All to play for. Sean Story is going to get first chance. Sean is really trying to give it plenty on the break. More than I've seen from him before. He's a, a player that experiments a lot. Always keeps searching to tinker and find something that will work. Extension. Extension. Not afraid to try something different or do it in a different way. He's going for extreme power right now. And to say it's working so far. Yeah, it was really interesting actually to hear him speak at the start of the show on his interview. You know, he's he's talking about fiddling with his game at the moment, tweaking it and, and finding little one percent here and there. All set for next month at the World Championships where he's gonna to need to cut out mistakes like that. Yeah, that's a poor one. That <laughs> really is. Tinker as much as you like. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah, center of the pocket with the cue ball doesn't work. No matter how much you tinker. Carl's going to take the reds as well. Of course, it remains open. Sean sure may have potted a red, but open table because it was a foul. Ball in hand gives himself the perfect angle to break, play the breakout and does a good job of it. Could go right centre, could go bottom right still, even though there's not a great deal of angle, but depends what he feels like. If he drops in bottom right, does the, the drop in left centre get him where he wants to be? Might leave just too much angle. I have to go right centre now and come back down. Although he doesn't really need to get down for the red at the bottom. You could drop it in from high and leave it as your last ball. It's kind of make your mind up time though, Carl. That was such an impressively bad shot from short stop. <laughs> you really just do not expect those from a player of his visibility. It wasn't the best of shots from Carl Morris either, but he's been very fortunate with it. If he catches that red a touch fuller, he's got a really awkward couple of shots to play. But now, OK, it's a little dink into the, the centre pocket. He, if he's got too much angle, he might go up the table. But I'd leave the red bottom left and straight in bottom left. You've, you've won the frame, basically. He tries to get better on it than that. I don't know why he didn't just try and dink it in or come off the top cushion and leave it. If it gets anywhere near the straight on the red to bottom left, the frame is over. Will he move the cue ball around there? But maybe unnecessarily. And he's got too much angle on this one, which is why he's had the grimace on his face. For a player of Carl's experience and ability, that was a very poor visit to the table once he had opened up the, the problem ball. The first shot was excellent, and then it's almost though he, he confused himself. He couldn't work out how he wanted to go about it, and well, played a series of poor shots. Frustrating thing for Carl there will be that he did the hard work. Yeah. Disappointing one for Sean there trying to make the red at the same time. Wanted to hit the side cushion before hitting the red as well. Just too much of the side cushion and missed the red altogether. He wouldn't have minded if he'd flicked the red. Any contact on the red, he would have felt the chances of being on the yellow was high and it also would have opened up the, the bottom corner for the eight ball. This is a big shot. This is a very big shot. Loss of turn, but it's hiding the white. Well, he'll take it. He will take it. Not exactly how he played it. He wanted the red to drop to bottom right, but he was more conscious to make sure he didn't leave the red to left centre. I think all in all, you have to say, a very well played shot from from Sean. Touch fortunate, I suppose, to keep the red on the table. Or unfortunate. Now that Carl's played that shot. So put Sean in a world of trouble. He needs to play the yellow he's next to, but that opens up the bottom right corner for Carl. Really well played shot. It's 
so much more difficult than it looks. Yeah. If you're kind of playing the yellow, you don't want it to move. Sometimes you can make yourself look silly there. And you, you miss the yellow altogether. And it just feels a little bit ridiculous. Now, he always knew he was going to leave a, a shot on down the table, and he still, every chance he loses the frame of it. But he's asked as good a question as he could do of Carl Morris, bar leaving the cue ball touching the top cushion, which he can't really risk doing because you've got to reach a cushion, remember. This is very, very good. As poor as his previous shots were, that was excellent. into the centre. Very well finished off. Intriguing at the frame as well. Both players will feel like they could have done a lot more in their match. Definitely going to find a motivated Josh Jew has in that final game regardless. It is essentially a, a rubber match for him. He, he can't qualify, but you know, you can, we can hear he's, he's brought a few people down with him to support tonight. He'll want to give them something to cheer, but first year on the tour, he's done well just to get to this stage. He'd love to leave on a high. Very fortunate for Carl Morris to keep the cue on the table all this time. Four reds goes. That's end of chance. the left hand of the, the three that were left there, but he needed to be on it in such a way that he could then play just a soft screw shot into the yellow and then pop the other two into play. He still, I guess, can play it, but it's going to be going into a lot more pace. He's asking for think, good things to happen here, and it's a tough pop. And I think, I say, good things haven't really happened there. Similar sort of feel to a shot earlier on we saw Josh play where you're kind of kind of firing into balls and everything's moving and kind of resetting the table essentially. It wasn't the cleanest bit of queuing, but it's gonna drop in. Quick look to see if he's got the angle to play the breakout. He absolutely has not. At first glance, he's not. He's going by his facial expression. It looks like he'd missed the eight ball on the high side. Somewhere between the eight ball and the centre pocket by the looks of things. Being fooled by Carl before. Quite. A shot that is, <laughs> and I think he's played the treble, not the double, as well. He's a little fortunate with how the cue ball jawed, though. Yeah, I'm not sure if he played the, the cue ball through the gap off the jaw on the red, but the treble was there, and he's landed lovely. He's played into the eight ball there, and I, I can't imagine that was ever really the shot. I can only think, I mean, he's wobbled the red in, so my only thinking there is if he goes hard at the pocket where he's intending it to go, it's a half-ball contact and he's, he's on the eight-ball down the cushion. I think the problem was he was on the jaw, so he couldn't really elevate to get behind the eight-ball from where he was. Big double now. And that 
is a heartbreaker for Carl Morris. And a lifeline for Sean Story. Yeah, and a prime example of why you don't get frustrated sat in your chair until the frame's over, until the match is over, because you saw Sean a couple of times kind of almost lean forward like he was about to stand up to play the next shot. Cue balls close to going in, balls close to missing and wobbling and falling in. You can kind of sit there and curse and say, oh, he's getting away with all sorts out there and get frustrated by it. Yet you come to the table because he misses the eight ball in the driving seat, although that's a poor shot from Sean. If he's left sight of this eight ball, I know that it doesn't go from where Carl is, but it should have been snooker. Oh, he's looking at off the cushion, off the yellow, into the pocket. It's a tough, tough shot, this. But it's certainly in the wheelhouse. Oh, it was not far away. Great effort. And that's all to do with Sean's poor shot. Now Sean's under way more pressure. He was nailed on to win this frame. As we see that shot again, that's so close. He was nailed on to win this frame once Carl misses the double on the eight ball. And now it's, well, I'd almost make him just about second favourite. It's pretty close, though. He's got to come up with a huge shot here, otherwise Carl's going to have the eight ball. Gets actually, this is horrible. This is dangerous. He's got the snooker, and that's about where the good news ends because you would fancy Carl Morris from here. That's a big call playing that shot from Sean Story, in all honesty. Eight ball over the pocket. Looks like the bottom cushion's on. Maybe the yellow's just slightly in the way. Watch this cue ball. It's a big bend. It's a lovely shot from Carl Morris. That's why he's changing to the cut break. Chasing the eight ball here. 2 0 down, and he shouldn't be. to go. really well in his first match against Jack Ryan and he's just fallen off the cliff a little bit here. This has been quite a poor match by his high standards. It has and Sean's a really, really intelligent guy overall and what he really tries to do and he does very well generally is try and find those marginal gains here. I've not talked about in other sports but Sean really is a big believer in that. He does a lot of work on his mental side and all that sort of thing. Anything he can do to find the advantage. But he needs to find something. Sadly, he might not get the option. 15 seconds drop off in play. Dropping for Carl is not a problem. Stu Hedge and assorted friends are keeping an eye on this one. Good watch. right there if he was I think he would have taken it out of the way that's the that is the ball the one that's sort of stopping him from making this absolutely simple he should be anyway I think he's got an angle now just stand across to the right hand side of the table take it next and a couple of options up the table perhaps that's what he's played for I think natural now drawing around two cushions and cue ball plumb in the middle of the table would be Absolutely ideal hit. It's a bounce. Touch short, but 
good enough. Better off being a touch short, short than going way too far. Victory here. Someone who'll be really pleased with that, you suspect, is Jack Whelan. I was far from out of the woods here in terms of qualifying. Although it's obviously short races. Eight ball. I thought for a second that was going to get a flick in. Hopefully the referee will give Sean a couple of extra seconds here. Has Carl got in, in Sean's way? Oh, he's going to lose the match. He's going to concede because he's just popped the cue ball straight away. Air of frustration when he played that shot. All over. Carl Morris goes 2-0 and o in the Champions League. Sean Sorry is still alive, but barely. Houdini Morris holds the aces.